In this video, I will show you how to play Roblox with a PlayStation controller. To do that, we will need to install a third-party software which allows your controller to be recognized by your PC. To do that, open up your browser and after you open it up, select one of the search boxes and write DS4 Windows. Then press the enter button and open up the link at the top. Once you open up the website, go to the top right and press the download button right here. Then press the download button once again. The download should begin automatically. And as soon as the download is finished, you can close your browser, then go over to the file explorer and go into downloads. Then you can take the file we just downloaded and drag it over to your desktop. After you do that, open up the file, then press the extract out button right here and choose where you want the files to be extracted at. I'll choose my desktop, then press the extract button. After you have extracted your files, open up the extracted folder and open up the DS4 Windows folder inside of it, then open up this application right here. Then you will need to choose where you want profiles and settings to be saved at, either program folder or app data, I'll choose the program folder. Then you will need to enable support for your controller. If you're using a PlayStation 4 controller, check the DS4 device support option. If you're using a PlayStation 5 controller, check the DualSense device support. And if you're using a PlayStation 3 control, select the DS3 device support. After you check the box next to your controller, press the close button. Then you will be redirected to this application right here. First off, you will need to select step 1 and install the Vigem bus driver. After you press that button, you will get the setup wizard. You will need to press the next button, then select where you want the Vigem bus driver to be installed at and agree to the license terms and conditions. After you do that, press the next button and then press the install button. After that is done, press the finish button and scroll down. Ignore all these other steps because they're not necessary for this tutorial. Now we should connect our controller to our PC. We can connect our controller using a Bluetooth method or a wired method. For the Bluetooth method, you will need to put your controller into pairing mode by pressing the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time. And after you do that, go to the bottom left of your screen on your PC, press the search button and search for Bluetooth. Open up the application at the top. And once you get into the application, select the add Bluetooth or other device option right here then select everything else and your controller should appear right here. Keep in mind to connect your controller using a Bluetooth method, you must have a motherboard that supports Bluetooth connection or a Bluetooth dongle. Now, after you have connected your controller using Bluetooth, go over to the DS4 application and press the start button. Also, you can use a wired method. For that, you will need to use the charging cable of your controller. Simply plug the USB part into your PC and the other part into your controller. After you have plugged both parts into both devices, press the start button right here and you should have successfully connected your controller. Now, as you can see, my controller is successfully connected to my PC since it appeared right here and now I can jump into Roblox. Here we are inside of Roblox and as you can see, I am currently using my PlayStation controller to play Roblox. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope we helped. See you in the next one.